Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. In this class, I'm simply going to solve some few examples on complex numbers. Please make sure that you follow up this class until the end of it. So let's quickly get started. So I'll give my few examples. Right, so I'll write examples. Okay. So the first example will be adds the following add the following complex numbers add the following complex numbers so the first one will be open bracket 4i plus 2 cross bracket and then we say plus open bracket 3 minus 5i. So the i in this notation just simply means that it is an imaginary number. So in this case, this can simply be written as 4i plus 2 plus 3 minus 5i. So we can collect like terms and we are going to simply have 2 plus 3 plus 4i minus 5i. Remember, the i just stand for imaginary. So you're going to say 2 plus 3 is simply equal to 5 minus i. Okay, so 4i minus 5i is negative 1i, which can just be written as i. So this is the answer for the first example. Let's quickly look at the next example. So the next one can be uh, 2, which is open bracket 2i minus 3 cross bracket minus, um, let's say we have 4 plus 5i like that. So what we are going to do is we are going to say 2i minus 3, then we multiply that by that, which is negative 4, that by that, it is simply equal to negative 5i. So like terms once again, so we're going to have 3i minus 4 plus 2i minus 5i. So when you work out that, it's going to give you negative 7 minus 3i. So this is our solution for that question. So the next one will be based on multiplication. So let's quickly look at how you can work out an example on complex numbers which has to deal with multiplication. Remember, there is a certain rule which you are supposed to know on this. So what you need to know is that i, which is an imaginary number, times i, which is another imaginary number, is equal to i squared, which is simply equal to um, negative 1. This came from the fact that, let's say we have negative 1 inside there. So negative 1 inside there, we cannot have the square root of negative 1. Hence, we have to introduce an imaginary number, which is i. So, to get rid of that square root, we are going to introduce a squared and also a squared. So, negative 1 is simply equal to i squared. So, this is where this concept came from. So, let's quickly look at multiplication. So, which is our example number 3? Multiply, multiply the following. Multiply the following. Okay. So please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you follow up our classes. So we have 2 minus 3i cross bracket times 2 plus 5i uh, cross bracket. So let me quickly write solution. So how do you go about this question? So we are just simply going to write the same thing 2 minus 3i cross bracket and then we say 
2 plus 5i cross brackets. After we do that, what are we going to do next? So we are going to multiply this 2 by everything. So we are going to say 2 open brackets, 2 plus 5i cross bracket. Then we multiply negative 3i open brackets, 2 plus 5i. After doing that, we are simply going to multiply. So we are going to say 2 times 2, which is 4, 2 times 5i, which is positive 10i. Then negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6i. Then negative 3 times that, which is going to be negative 15i squared. Okay, because i times i, it is i squared. And we know that i squared is simply equal to negative 1, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to say 4, we're going to say 4 plus 10i minus 6i minus 15 times e, negative 1. Where there is i squared, we are going to put negative 1 because i squared is simply equal to negative 1. After doing that, ladies and gentlemen, we are just simply going to have 4 plus 10i minus 6i plus 15. Then we correct like them, so we are going to have 15 plus 4 plus 10i minus 16i. So this, when you add them, you are going to have 19 plus 4i. So ladies and gentlemen, this was, was our final answer. So let's quickly look at the last part, which is division. So, when you talk of division, we are simply dividing um, complex numbers. So, let's say, for example, we have um, a question like this one. So, the question will be, X plus, okay, this is one of the common exam questions. X plus the given, the given uh, complex numbers express the following given complex numbers in the form in the form uh, in the form a plus ib so this is one of the common exam questions which you'll be given at your university so let's quickly look at this so the first one which i have is a which is simply equal to 4 plus 7i over um, 5 minus i. So, as usual, in order for us to get rid of the i down there, we're just going to find the conjugate of the denominator by simply finding the opposite of that, which is plus. So, we're going to multiply both sides by the conjugate which is 5 plus i, again we multiply 5 plus i. So when we have such, this simply means that we are simply going to have um, 4 plus 7i brackets times 5 plus i brackets. Then over, we know this is different of 2 squared, so this is the same as 5 squared minus i squared okay so if we have that what are we going to do next so the next thing is just all about simplifying so for those who have been following me well you'll be able to know that i'm multiplying this by everything again that by everything so i'll say 4 times 5 which is simply 20 then 4 times i which is plus 4i then 7i times 5 is simply equal to 35i. Then 7i times i, which is 7i squared. Then that i will be this 7i squared. Then that i is simply equal to negative 1. So here it will be negative 7 over. Then you have 5 squared, which is 25 
minus you know i squared is simply equal to negative one i'm sure we are all able to see that and we are able to understand please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel so that you follow more so in this case we are going to have 20 minus 7 plus 4i plus 35i over we are going to have 25 plus 1 so with that being said this is how our final answer will simply be equal to so 20 minus 7 is the same as um 13 and then we are going to say uh, plus 39i over 26. Now, remember, our question we have been asked to express this expression in the form of a plus bi or ib. So we are going to say uh, 13 over 26 plus um plus 39 over 26i okay so when we state that we can reduce those two fractions in their lowest term so when we reduce this one it's going to be 1 over 2 plus and then the other one will be 3 over 2i so we have simply expressed that expression in the form of a plus b i all right guys i think this has been an easy journey for us so please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and also register with excel academy remember you can contact us on online 65887474 just make sure that you whatsapp us 